Hey guys, welcome to Crafting in My PJs. I am Millie and today we are making gifts for the holiday season or birthdays or anniversaries or whatever, but this is a Dollar Tree gift. So I hope you like it. Um, I don't even have like a made one to show you. So we're just going to start and we'll see what happens. We are using a bamboo cutting board from Dollar Tree. Now this is from the $5 section, so it's not the small one. It's about 12 inches long this way, and I don't know how long it is the other way. Let's see. Um, almost 16 inches, so almost 12 by almost 16, and we are gonna make a charcuterie board with it simple charcuterie board but I think a really nice one you know to give as a little gift or as a um, gift exchange so we're going to open it up right now and we're going to take off the uh the plastic there we go okay plastic off in a few minutes I'm going to put you down put you facing down so you can see what we make um, the other thing we need for this project is from Dollar Tree and the Crafter Square section, chalkboard crop it, oops, sorry, that was for something else, crop it sticker. So it's a chalkboard vinyl and we're going to put that on. Now, it's shorter than our board, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so let's open that up while... I've got you facing up so you don't have to watch me do all of this and oh there's two sheets two sheets so you could at least make two two boards I thought it was only one um okay let's get rid of that um, I do have a corner rounder because I'm going to round the corners I do have some chalk that I happen to have just so we can see what it looks like um, we are going to put our board on some feet, so we're going to use these little um, wooden squares. Not going to paint them, not going to finish them, just like they match the board perfectly. So we need just four, four of those. And then this I had in my stash, and I'm actually going to put them on temporarily for y'all, but then I'm going to put them on more permanently when I get off camera because right now we cannot get to our drill we're having some um, renovations done in our house so all of our tools uh, we're not doing the renovation we actually hired somebody so all of our tools are kind of like unaccessible let's put it that way all right so some little knobs I had these I just had these laying around they were for a for a craft and never use them so eventually I will drill a hole to put these in because they're going to be our handles but today we're going to e6000 them or I might just hot glue them because I do want to like really drill a hole and put the official screw because because if you're lifting up your board by the handles god forbid you don't want all your food to fall you don't want the whole thing to come apart so I might go ahead and just hot glue it today so we can see what it looks like and then in a week or so when I can get to my tools I'll drill that hole and put the screws in and I think that's it um so now I'm going to turn you down so you can see what we do all right okay I think you're back I think you can see everything I hope you can see everything okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this um chalkboard vinyl on and I I do like it but I think it's it's, it's going to be down here and I think it's just a little wide like this way so I just want to cut down maybe an inch or an inch and a half off of it so let's see it is five inches so I'm thinking three and a half I want it to be three and a half so let's get out the handy dandy chopper and let's find three and a half and of course I hate it when it's the ones that are in between all right right there right there all right, all right. Oh. this is not my best chopper I have other choppers but this one is um, 
small and handy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to round the corners so it kind of matches with the rounded corners on our um, chopping board. Uh oh. Now, if you don't have a corner rounder and you want corners rounded, you can always take the scissors and make them or not. You can leave the corner straight. That would look fine too. Oh, my corner rounder is getting a little dull. It's really old. All right, so let's see if I can get the backing off. That's always my problem is getting the, the backing off of vinyl. I see it's separating. It's not a hard one. Right, and I am going to just eyeball. I do have my um, my ruler board underneath it. So let's see. It's 15 and 3 quarters. Kind of want right there. Yep. All right. There you go. A little bit of border down here. A little bit of border around. All right, that looks good. All right, so let's put on our feet. Let's see what our feet look like. We're going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here. And so what I'm going to do, well, I, don't, I don't know why I'm turning them over, is I'm going to put some E6000. <laughs> if I can get it open, we're going to put some E6000 to, um, whoops, sorry about that, E6000 to permanently bond it bond it down but I am going to use um, some hot glue to temporarily hold it so while we're crafting it doesn't slot all over the place all right and hopefully that is all heated up let's see Ooh, that's quite a smell and that was quite a lot uh, again eyeballing and come back real quick and clean these uh, glue edges to make sure it's not so messy looking. But I really, again, don't want them to kind of fall off. I want everything to stay secure. All right, let me. Um, can't you use your finger, but let me get some of my handy dandy baby wipes and just take up a little bit. Honestly, I don't know. The I think it's fine. We're going to leave it. It's on the bottom. All right. So we're going to turn us over. Now, oh, look at that. It sits nice. I like it. All right, so now we're going to put our little handles. I do love these knobs. I had bought them for a dresser and then never, ever put them on. All right, so I really wanted them to be centered. So I made a template. I took a piece of scrapbooking paper and I sort of, well, it was already cut to, because it's almost 12 inches. And then I just made a tiny little hole right there in the center. So I know where, in fact, I'm going to take, where is my, there it is, my permanent marker. And oops, 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 don't move. And I knew about how much I wanted it in. So I'm just going to make a mark there. And a mark there. And then... Like I said, if I had my, my, um, my drill, I could drill a hole, but you know. So we're just going to use the hot glue because I do want to come back and give it a more permanent um, attachment. Okay. But for demonstration purposes... 
I want you to see how it looks. So what do you think? All right. All right. I almost think we need something up here. But I don't really have anything unless I punch something out of the chalkboard vinyl. I don't really have anything to punch out. But that would be the only thing I would do. No, no, I, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I like it just the way it is. Look at that. So with this chalk adhesive, we have to prime it first before you can write on it with chalk. I don't know about if you use a chalk marker, I would imagine that goes right on it. So I'm gonna kind of flip here. Just turn you a little bit, and this is how you prime it. You just take some chalk and go across it like this. And you might want to do this before you give it away. And you might just want to instruct your recipient to do it. Uh, it's kind of up to you. All right, so, and then we're gonna take, I didn't really want a wet wipe, but that looks like what I have here. We're gonna take a wipe and we're gonna just wipe that off. And now it's got to dry. And um, just for a second, let's see, I don't even have anything dry to <laughs> wipe it with. Um, the other thing that you could do is take your leftover chalk vinyl if you want. Um, it seems to be sticking. I, I don't think it's permanent, I'll tell you the truth. But you could cut out some rectangles and circles to delineate other spaces using the chalk vinyl. And if you did, I would cut it out, like cut out a shape and then cut out the middle. So you just really have an outline. The problem with that is food is gonna touch it. And then when you go to clean the board, I'm not sure how well those marks will stay on there. This, this piece right here, um, you can always clean above it and keep the food away from this specific area. All right, I think it's dry enough now I can show you. All right, so we can write, write. see how well it writes now, cheese. And we can write sausage. And we can write olives. I don't know, <laughs> what do you put on your charcuterie board? Anyway, or sweet pickles, dill pickles, that kind of thing. Just to, to show what, maybe if you just do cheeses, so blue cheese, Havarti, Swiss, that kind of thing. Um, so whatever you want to write on it, but doesn't it look cute? All right, so now I'm going to take you back up and we will close out this video. All right, so we're done. So here's our cute little uh, charcuterie board with our chalkboard vinyl right here. Um, probably even if you had to buy knobs under $10, knobs can get expensive, but I'm sure you can find some at a discount store, pretty reasonable, thrift stores, things like that. So um, it, the little blocks they sell at Dollar Tree in a really big bag, so you get a bunch of them. Um, $5 for the cutting board, but then the chalkboard was $1.25 and you only used half of it. So I would say probably under $10. Makes a great hostess gift. So if you're going to a party and you'd like to bring something for the hostess there, this would be great. Um, make sure you include like a chalkboard marker with it so they can mark on it. Um, would make a great uh, boss gift if you have, you know, a boss that likes to entertain. This would be great for them. Um, just a great coworker gift. Um, good for those uh, Secret Santa exchanges. So I just think it's it's a kind of gender neutral type gift that you could give almost anybody. So um, took only five minutes to put together. So. Um, you could put your own little spin on it, maybe other decorations. I did experiment with um, staining the, the board. My problem was you have to find a stain that is safe for food because, I mean, it, it's a cutting board. So even if you were going to make a charcu charcuterie board out of it or even a decorative board, you would want something that if somebody ended up putting food on it, it would be safe. It's hard to find safe 
food safe stains out there. I mean, they have them, but they're expensive. And, and so I tried like a coffee stain I had seen on um, Facebook somewhere or TikTok or something. And it stained it, but it didn't do the best job. And because this is not an expensive board, it's a bamboo board, board it sort of soaks things up. So um, it didn't stay within the stencil I was trying to um, stain. But just the natural board with this um, vinyl on it would be great. All right. I am going to stop babbling. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again. Bye.